Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Today, we will be returning with my favorite type of video, the monthly review. We haven't done this type of video since May, so I really hope you've missed it and you're going to enjoy it. Without further ado, let's start. Oh, you all had such wonderful night. Number 31, RM Credit Roll. So I understand that this is supposed to be an album closer and that's why it's called Credit Roll. And I understand the concept, I understand what the song wants to say. And it's technically not a song, but they put it on Spotify so I count it as a song. And I know, I know many BTS fans are gonna say whatever, but really I just, it's not a proper song so I can't put it any higher. Number 30 is Cat's Eye, Hybe's strange international group and their debut called Debut. Honestly, the sample they use definitely carried. There is one good catchy part in the chorus and that's it. But TB8, I think in the battle of international girl groups, Vicha ate them and threw them up. Number 29 is Triple S Glow, Inner Dance. I am definitely a big fan of Triple S as a group and I was excited for this subunit, but it's just not. The song seems half-baked, half-finished. The chorus is very poor and because the chorus also repeats in the beginning and in the end, it's basically most of the song. It's just an, like a New Jeans inspired song that they cheaply threw together. I love Triple S, but we all know they can do better. Number 31, New Jeans Right Now. This is also part of their Japanese debut and it's in collaboration with, I think, Murikami with the flower. You know the flower they're using as their design overall and it's very new jeans. I'm just, it's not hitting as hard as some of their other songs, but it's not bad. I just, it's very mid. Mm, I love you, babe. It's Jimin, Smeraldo Garden Marching Band featuring Loco. I think the concept is really cool and I really like the music video, it's very happy, very green and very relaxing to the eyes, but I just don't think it's something special. I also dislike Loco's part, so that also takes a lot away from the song, but I'm hoping Muse as a title track is going to be great. Number 29, Craxy Stupids. It has a cool 90s GTA vibe, especially that the GTA soundtrack, it's in the background of every single lyric gets used in the melody i think that's really cool and i it's just not my style that's it it's not bad or anything i really hate the chorus but it's a very cool idea and if you enjoy for example young posse i think you'd enjoy this song never let go, 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 go. jungkook never let go so I have a soft spot for fan songs, I think everyone knows that. And it's a really sweet song, but I just really dislike the chorus. Like, the never let go, 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 it starts blending together and it doesn't sound as pleasant as some of his other songs. I think it's very sweet that he made a fan song and the lyrics are really sweet, the verses are good. I'm just not a big fan of the chorus. Number 27, Big Ocean Blow. I really love the first verse, their first fully English song, and it's good. It's not nothing special, but it's good. I don't like the chorus, and the raps aren't bad, but also weren't necessary. It's just a regular K-pop English song. It has a good pre-chorus and a good first verse. Number 27, Lisa's Rockstar. I am not the biggest fan of this song. I love Lisa, she's my bias, and overall, I feel like the song had some potential. The beat is really good and she reused that theme Impala sample which is also really good. I'm just not the biggest fan of the lyrics and I thought the dance was going to be better because it's Lisa. The song isn't bad, it's just it didn't blow me away. Number 25, TWS Hey Hey. It has such second gen vibes. I really like the pre-chorus. I think the chorus itself is okay, but I think it's too fast somehow. It doesn't fit the rest of the pacing of the song. While I usually like the chorus to be faster than the rest of the song, in this case, it just doesn't fit the pacing. It's giving men but new jeans, like male new jeans vibes. It's okay though, I don't, I don't mind it. Number 24. 
Primrose, Freya slash Freja. Okay, it's giving a girl crush, girl crushy. Verses are okay, I like them, they're not bad. And I assume this has something to do with their lore, like I feel like they probably have a lore because this song is very lore heavy, but I just don't know the lore and honestly I was too lazy to start learning it. But as a song itself, it's just alright. I think the concept is really good and I'm giving them points there, but overall it's just okay. Number 23, Wavy, Give Me That. So it has a groovy beginning and it's very positive. I really like the choreo, that's a big plus. And it's just very smooth and groovy. It has a little bit of a cringy rap, but overall it's a good, like, there's nothing much I can say about it. Like a, like you wanna make it Number 22, Trendy Glow. It has a really cool concept. I don't know why I like it, but I actually kind of do. It's very nice. Uh, the rap can, you know, it knocked it down a couple of points, it wasn't the best rap I ever heard, but it's what I wanted Sweet Venom by Enhypen to be. Like, if you want a Sweet Venom similar vibes, I would recommend this song. Um, I'm cheering me on, ain't nobody is rooting for Number 21, Wu-A Pom Pom Pom. It's such a switch up from Blush that I almost forgot how wu -a, how versatile wu -a is. Uh, it has the Mr. Vampire beat and I think everything is okay until the chorus comes. Like the chorus knocked it down a lot. Overall, it's okay. It's just not my style, but doesn't mean it's bad. I'll never cry. Still okay, still okay. Number 20, Candy Shop, Don't Cry. The music video is honestly very sad. I don't like the bad CGI moments, but everything else is okay. It's a lot better than their debut, definitely, and the chorus is nice. Overall, I kind of really like it. I just don't have anything to say. Number 19, New Jeans Supernatural. This is their Japanese debut. And I really dig this beat, it's very 2000s, 2000s Japan, like Harajuku aesthetic, it's good. The claps are a nice touch and it's giving young bossy in a way, like it's not giving new jeans, but I don't mind it. Number 18, Chew Strawberry Rush. This song is so chew, like it's the chewest song in a way, I don't know how to explain it. I really really love the video game concept in the music video and the music video is super sweet. I prefer Howl musically, like, as a song, but this one is so cute, and honestly, K-pop should be this fun, like, really all kudos to her. <laughs> Number 17, Evne, Better Love. So, it's another kind of anime opening-esque song. It gives TWS vibes, but it's just better than Hey Hey. It's a generic, it's okay, very trendy, very nice. I don't mind it. It's really a, it's a good song. Number 16, NCT Dream, Moonlight. The verses were really nice and I really like them, but the chorus, on the other hand, I love. It's a lovely summer song. It's easy, it's digestible, it has a great beat. It's just, it has a bit of a forced rap, which took it down a couple of notches, but overall, I enjoyed it. Yo, with a villain. Number 15, Bad Villain, Bad Villain. It's a fresh take on Girl Crush with talented members and a really cool choreo. I am never a big fan of Girl Crush, but this is honestly the uh, freshest take on it I've seen in a while. Number 14, Sunmi, Balloon in Love. It's a chill ballad and that's honestly just my taste. It's a, such a sweet and a gentle song. It's nothing mind-blowing, I guess, but it's for my taste personally and I really like it. Like, it went on my playlist. It's going platinum, but overall, objectively, it's just okay. Number 13, Imond, Slippery. This is a new group that debuted and honestly I'm really in love with the members. The members are really sweet and the song is actually really good. It reminds me a little bit of Itzy's Mr. Vampire using a similar beat, but it's just really nice. They're talented and they did their best with the limited budget while the song itself is just very enjoyable to listen to. Like giving them the biggest shout out. Number 12, Haiki, Let It Burn. 
I like the rockish vibe this song has. It's very, it has a very powerful chorus. The verses themselves are just okay though, and I think the concept eight and they overall delivered it really good. I didn't expect this kind of concept from Haiki, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Number 11, uh, Donkan X1 Wu, This Man. It has great guitar playing. I don't know who's playing the guitar, but it's amazing. I love the chorus so, so, so much. It's so smooth, and I think the music video is great. The second verse hits a little less than the first one, but still, I really like the song. I think it's really cool. Number 10, Signature, Sweetie But Salty. Verses are super sweet. I like the bubblegum rap and just it's a cute little bubblegum bop pop song. Uh, signature honestly eats every time and this is my type of music so. Hit number 9. Aku Hero. It's such a pretty music video and it has a Beauty and the Beast reference which is really really sweet. It's just a sweet gentle ballad. It's just very Akumu fairy tale esque. I really love it. Number 8. TSR Pretty Mob. It has such a cute music video and the song is sweet with a cool um, techno beat behind it. That's honestly one of my favorite combos. I'm not a big fan of the chorus, but I love the cutesy rap and overall TSR never disappoints. Number 7. Extraordinary Heroes Boy Comics. The beginning of the song is so cool and it's also once again giving anime opening. The chorus is definitely my favorite part. It's so good, it's so addictive, just amazing. And this might be my favorite song of theirs. The second verse also hits really really hard and the music video is very fun, but it also fits the song very well. And the bridge is obviously a good one. Just honestly, I don't have anything negative to say. It's a really good song. Number 6. Kepler Shooting Star. I love this concept for them. They have these beautiful soft vocals and it suits them so well. The other film pre-chorus is cool because it's purposefully done like that. And I like the very adventurous chorus. The rap itself is also cool and Bridge is my favorite part. So definitely Kepler keep going on. Number 5, Rise, Boom Boom Bass. Get a guitar, but a premium version. <laughs> Luckily, I love Get a Guitar, so this hits to me really well as well. This is honestly the concept they should stick to. This is my favorite their release of theirs since Get a Guitar. And I am just a big fan of them in this concept. I hope SM continues pushing them this way. Number 4. Red Velvet Cosmic. Firstly, it has a reference to my favorite movie, and I did already an entire video of Midsummer vs. Red Velvet Cosmic. Do look at it if you're bored. I just love it. The song itself is really sweet. It has that Red Velvet vocals, and it's the closest to a Red concept we've gotten in a while. So I'm just super happy, and it's definitely one of my favorite comebacks of theirs in their modern, modern era, modern Red Velvet times. I love it. I'm a zombie. Third place is taken by Everglow Zombie. I love this concept on them so much. Finally, Yuhua decided to do something good for Everglow. The first verse is fire. Chorus honestly could be better, that's my least favorite part, but it's still really, really, really good. The concept is carrying it, but I dig the song. It's different in a good way, and it just gets better after each listen. You don't get sick of it, and the bridge is amazing. Second place is Wekimeki, Council Destiny. This is their disbandment song and this could be definitely me just being sentimental, but I really really love this song and I'm going to miss Wekimeki a lot. They have beautiful vocals, the rap was honestly the only thing that could have been better, but overall it's just such a beautiful song. They had like five dollars in a dream for concept photos, the music video, the budget overall. So just lovely and a very, very well deserved second place. And number one of this month is my favorite song of honestly a while of 2024. Uh, Neon ABCD. She carried that 
come back so bad. She put out her inner Beyonce and became Nyonce. I love it so much. She really, the choreo, the concept, her vocals, her ad libs, everything was so amazing. The song is catchy. It just gets better as you listen to it, and the album itself is lovely as well. So, a、uh, well deserved win. And thank you so much for watching. I will most definitely, slash hopefully, be seeing you in the next one. And I'm sorry this series took a little break, but we are back stronger than ever. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.